It is my great honor and privilege to address some of the regions and the world's greatest minds in public health here at the Caribbean's premier gathering of health research professionals now in its 63rd year. Our Prime Minister, Dr. the Honorable Timothy Harris, extends his apologies for his absence. However, he has asked me to let you know that he is, he is especially honored to have the opportunity to work closely with many of you and advance your cause in his capacity as CARICOM's lead head for health, human resource development, and HIV. Today, our team unity government and people are delighted to welcome all of you who work tirelessly to prevent diseases, prolong our lives, and promote healthy practices and lifestyles. Whether through policy-making research, community-based activities, communications, campaigns, whatever the endeavor may be, your support, sustainable health systems for the economic growth, development, and wealth of our families, communities, societies, and indeed, the entire world. We are therefore pleased to have you here in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Over the course of this conference, you will highlight your research that focuses on health systems, strengthening as well as on the six health system building blocks, namely financing, governance, health human resources, information and evidence, medical products and technologies, and service delivery arrangements. As the 63rd Annual Health Research Conference of the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFO, is about to officially get underway, we are reminded that strengthening health systems has long been a priority health area for the Caribbean region. The Caribbean's focus on creating sustainable health systems date back to at least 1984, the year the member states of the Caribbean community, CARICOM, established the Caribbean Cooperation in Health Initiative, now in its third iteration, to support capacity building in priority areas of common concern. CAFA's work is closely aligned with the principles of the Caribbean Cooperation in Health Initiative. Indeed, it was a focus on capacity building to improve the health of the people of the Caribbean that led to CARICOM taking the decision to merge five regional health institutions to create the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, which began its formal operations on January 1st of 2013. These institutions, namely the Caribbean Epidemiology Center, CAREC, the Caribbean Food and Nutrition Institute, CFNI, the Caribbean Health Research Council, CHRC, the Caribbean Environmental Health Institute, CEHI, and the Caribbean Regional Drug Testing Laboratory, CRDTL, offer a collective response to public health challenges in the Caribbean in the form of CAFR. CAFR is therefore the lead agency for coordinating the Pan-Caribbean Action on Health Matters and PAHO along with WHO and other international partners including Canada, the United States, and the United Kingdom provided support for its development. Strong interagency cooperation to strengthen our health systems has resulted in the Americas, 
that is the entire North and South America, including the Caribbean, being declared the first in the world to eliminate measles in 2016, rubella in 2015, and congenital rubella syndrome in 2015. The Caribbean Corporation in Health Initiative has also brought about a massive scale up in our response against HIV AIDS, positioning us in much closer reach of deterring the spread of the disease. This massive scale up, which includes ramped up HIV testing and health promotion and communication has seen the HIV prevalence rate in the Caribbean region being halved from 2.2% to 1.1% between 2006 and 2015. What's more, the number, what's more, the estimated number of our people living with HIV receiving antiretroviral Entry retroviral ther therapy increased from under 5% to 44%, and deaths from AIDS related causes declined in the Caribbean from approximately 20,000 to 8,800 during the time period. Hence, I take the opportunity to congratulate two renowned health researchers. Professor Carl Theodore and Professor Brendan Bean, who will be awarded at the conference in recognition of their outstanding contributions, most notably in the prevention and control of HIV AIDS and in health economics. Indeed, the Caribbean has made major strides because of dedicated health professionals like you. For instance, in 2015, Cuba achieved the elimination of mother-to-child transmission of HIV and syphilis as certified by the World Health Organization, followed in 2017 by Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, Bermuda, the Cayman Islands, Montserrat, and St. Kitts and Nevis. I am confident that the Caribbean will make progress in the fight against non-communicable diseases, NCDs, now that CAFA and its international partners have elevated NCDs, such as cardiovascular disease, diseases, cancers, chronic respiratory diseases, and diabetes to the global agenda. It was Winston Churchill who said, healthy citizens are the greatest asset any country can have. It is therefore unsettling that NCDs account for approximately 83% of all deaths in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. These are senseless, premature debts and disabilities that disrupt economic productivity, devastate families, and de debilitate the country's human capital and development. My government is therefore taking steps to introduce a financial risk protection mechanism in our health system that will assist poor, vulnerable, and at-risk families that are just one health crisis away from financial ruin. We are committed to implementing universal health insurance, for it will help to ensure a sustainable health system that promotes economic growth, development, and wealth in St. Kitts and Nevis. A healthy nation is a wealthy nation. While universal health insurance is an important step in strengthening our health systems, our best insurance 
is to effectively manage outbreaks and emergencies that have severe health and humanitarian consequences. Our best insurance is to stop epidemics both there in our major tourist source markets and throughout the world and right here in the Caribbean. We have made good progress in areas such as disease surveillance, emergency preparedness and response, as well as health promotion and policy development as evidenced by the successes I have outlined. Today, CARICOM is progressing one step further with the official launch of the SET Fund. The Stop Epidemics There and Here SET Fund will support member states to better respond to all major threats to regional health security. Many of these diseases are being made worse by climate change. The Stop Epidemics There and Here SET Fund comes out of the November 2014 meeting of the CARICOM Heads of Government, who met at the 17th Special Session in Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. There, they deliberated on two public health challenges facing the community at that time, the chikungunya outbreak and the threat of the Ebola virus disease, EVD. The main outcome of that meeting was a 10-point plan of action to manage the spread of Ebola and infectious and vector-borne diseases in the region. The plan called upon governments, CAFO, CAFO, PAHO, WHO, and international partners to all work together. The meeting agreed that no member state of CARICOM should have to battle the public health challenges of infectious and vector-borne diseases on its own. Although Ebola never reached our shores, other public health threats emerged in the region. It is to these threats that CAFA and the Caribbean health community have been responding. The most recent of these is Zika, which swept the Caribbean in 2016, as mentioned by Dr. Hospitalis. A climate-sensitive mosquito the same that spreads dengue and chikungunya spreads this disease threat. Everyone can contribute to the SET fund, which needs donations from citizens like you here and abroad, from regional and international governments, organizations, the corporate community, and developmental agencies. Donations can be made to the SET Fund via PayPal, direct credit card payment, or you can send a check to the CAFA Foundation. We urge you to contribute to the SET Fund. Just Google SET Fund CAFA and go to the website and click on Donate Now. Go ahead, ready, set, go. We urge partnership with the mobile industry and other partners to alert the region when health threats loom so that they can support the work of, set, of the SET Fund in stopping epidemics. In closing, I wish CAF for continued success with the SET Fund and with the hosting of the conference. I do hope that you find some time to discover the tranquil beauty vibrant culture, and appealing cuisine that St. Kitts and Nevis and its friendly, easygoing people have to offer. May God bless your proceedings and our beautiful Caribbean region. Thank you. Stay up to date with news, programs, and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud.
follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS, St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.